All right, Tuesday morning. My bad. Uh, I missed yesterday. My day got away from me. This weather's been kind of messing me up. I haven't been able to work. I may not even be able to get my work done today. We'll see. And I got to buckle down more. But Monday's video is going to be today. Uh, I'm recording it here as I go. What I wanted to talk about today is a big part of entrepreneurship and or you know, building a business or wanting to be a business owner, et cetera, et cetera. A big part of that is, and I think I've talked about this before a little bit, but I want to do an actual, I wanted to do an actual video today. A big part of being successful, again, to whatever degree that is, right? Not everyone's going to be a Steve Jobs, you know, or uh, any other amazingly wealthy business owner. Um, but a big part of success is partnering up with and creating main, uh, relationships with people who are already at the place you're trying to get to. Uh, I've done it in two ways. I'm actually a part of a business networking international group. It's BNI. If you're somebody who's considering starting a business or you have a, a home-based business or whatever the case may be and you are not part of a BNI group, I would encourage you to join one. It is powerful. Uh, the first year of my uh, being a part of a BNI group, it generated for me almost nine thousand dollars in revenue. Just that one group, so it's very valuable. Uh, I would encourage anyone to do that. I'm also part of the Lions Club right now, because of the COVID situation. The Lions Club, which in my group it's predominantly older people, so we've stopped meeting. We have we, we, there's an email chain going around, but for the most part, that's been slowed down. Uh, there's also another option here in my hometown of Bloomington, Indiana, which is the Bloomington Chamber of Commerce. I have yet to sign up for that. I need to actually look into that. that, that that's really a, an even higher level than the other two groups I spoke about. Uh, but the point is, what, whatever it is, whether it's a, a BNI group, a Chamber of Commerce group, a Lions group, whatever the case may be, syncing up with people who are already at the destination you want to get to and in this life, there's multiple destinations. It's a journey. There's multiple beginnings and endings. 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 There we go. There's multiple beginnings and endings. And we, we get there easier. We get there faster when we partner with people who are above us and or superior to us in the vision that we're trying to execute. What that means is this. I have a home services business, cleaning cleaning gutters, pressure washing. It's raining right now, so my day's pretty much shot. It's just been raining. It's terrible. I don't I mean I I honestly I have so much work lined up, so much revenue and I can't get to it cuz it's just raining cats and dogs. It's miserable. Anyways, uh even though my business is a home services business, power washing, cleaning gutter, gutters, handyman, hallway, all that stuff, even though that's the case and it's different from, say, a guy in my group, great guy, I'm hoping to interview him at some point. His name is Derek Wells, uh, Wells Lawn Care. Uh, shout out to Derek Wells. Even though we do different things, the vision, the life goal, or, you know, Nancy Smith, Interiors by Nancy. She's an interior decorator. She's amazing. I, I, I hope I get a chance to interview her too. First female uh, buyer for furniture in the state of Indiana. She broke through the glass ceiling that was there. Truly an amazing thing. Uh, but even though our chosen professions or our mechanisms, I don't really know how to say it, are different, the vision is the same. The heartbeat is the same. And that's important because even though we do different things and even though we may even approach our business models differently, we both, well, Nancy as well, Nancy and Derek and I, as well as the other members of the BNI group, Mark Ma, Gene Shaw, uh, Brian Dorsey, so on and so forth. Great people, all good business owners. Even though we do different things, Gene Shaw, Gene Shaw is an insurance agent. Uh, Mark Ma uh, is a water remedial water remediation guy. Even though we're all doing different things, the end goal, the vision, the heartbeat, the spirit is the same. And it behooves me to sync up with those people who are vastly further ahead on this journey than I am. And the reason why it behooves me because 
I now take part as long as I earn their trust, which I have, and I'm happy to do that. But I, I can now take part in the value and the power of their Rolodex, of their connections, of, of who they are and who they are in society. And it, it, it catapults me forward as opposed to having to spend months, years developing trust and a name for myself in the business world uh, all on my own. Now, I still have to do that anyways, but by earning the trust of, say, and maybe these names don't really mean a lot to you, but for the, for the purpose of the video, it, it, it's easier this way. But earning the trust of, say, a Karen Pitkin, who's one of the largest real estate agents. Uh, she has her own office. She's extremely successful. Earning her trust individually, I've earned the trust, therefore, of all of her clients. And that's my point. Again, I know those names probably don't mean a lot to you, but, but, but please catch what I'm saying. By earning the trust of someone who's at the place I want to be, okay, by doing what I say I'm going to do, having a competitive price, showing up early, saying yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, thank you, uh, whatever the case may be, something that I do all the time for people, and I mean it, but I know it's also something that is endearing. I always tell people, thank you for choosing me. Thank you for choosing me. There's a lot of guys out here that do pressure washing, cleaning gutters. Anyway, there's, a, there's, a, there's a host of guys out here. There's a host of people just like me, okay? And the fact that they chose me, they didn't have to do that. So I always try to show my appreciation and my gratitude. My point is this. By earning the trust of someone who's already established, who already has a name for themselves, who already is successful, I catapult myself forward in the community via trust and confidence in others who maybe have never even heard of me, but they know, well, Karen Pickin likes Zach. She works with Zach. And again, I know that name may, may not mean a lot to some of you, but the point is seek people... You, I have two mentors. You should have two mentors. But really above and beyond that, seek people who may not be a mentor to you per se, but they're someone who will use you and you can do your best for them. Maybe give them a break on price. And then they say, man, you did a great job. I'm going to refer you to my friends. I'm going to refer you to my clients. A lot of business to business going on. Don't be trapped by the very foolish human instinct of being jealous or afraid of someone who's better than you. My dad said this years ago about uh, great basketball players of, of the past, and it's still true today. Of course, the game has changed, but it's still true today. But my dad said, a star makes other people stars. Okay, A star makes other people stars. That's very true. The best players made, the best NBA players, Larry Bird, Michael Jordan, uh, Hakeem Olajuwon, they made their teammates better for a lot of different reasons. But they made their teammates better. But here's what's interesting. For me, if you flip it around, a star makes other people stars. The only way you can become a star is by first attaching yourself to one yourself. Now, I understand what I'm saying is a little different, but just bear with me. Don't get stuck in this idea of I'm going to be self-made. I got to do it all myself. Uh, I don't need anybody because none of that is true. All of us have had a door open up for us and or window and or been handed business. I, I, I went to high school with a guy. When he got out of high school, his brother or his cousin literally set him up with a trash route of 300 clients almost overnight. I mean, almost overnight, he was picking up 300 homes garbage for about $12 a month. So he was making... What's that? I don't know. $3,600 a month out of high school just picking up trash. He ended up growing it to a lot more. He was making a lot of money and ended up selling it did well. The point is we've all had opportunity handed to us or a door opened up for us, right? This truth cannot be denied. And we can increase it. We can increase our chances for opportunity to be given to us by syncing up with those who have gotten where we want to go before us by earning their trust, working with them, serving them, asking them what I can, asking that. So in the case of Karen Pickin, what can I do for you in the case of my BNI members? Now, I, you know, BNI has a great philosophy, the giver's gain. And I do my best to uh, 
hire the people within my group myself as well as give out referrals. Sometimes it can be difficult. Some of these businesses don't always translate easily. But the point is this, when you have an attitude of, I want to sync up with someone better than me so that I can get to where I want to go faster, coupled with, I want to do right by them, you, guys, you cannot fail. You honestly cannot fail. The only way you can fail is if your business model doesn't have a proof of concept and or if you're doing stuff wrong. Even if you're doing those two things right, syncing up with someone who's, there, who's gotten there before you and trying to do right by them as best you can, even if you're doing those two things right, the only way you can fail is if you are doing other things wrong with the money and or that there's no proof of concept. And even then, the equity, the power, the momentum that being with someone or being connected with someone who's further down the road than you, even then, a lot of times that can be enough muscle to get you through until you figure it out. My first year was great, but it was also rough. Looking back on it now, I did a lot wrong about how I bid, about how I bid out jobs, how I, how I looked at revenue. I did a lot of stuff wrong, but I had enough muscle behind me that allowed me to power through. Plus, I pay my expenses with a credit card. Let's go. Uh, that I was able to get through. Now I'm in a much better spot. My revenue's increased. My concept of what I want to make daily is increased. It's all better. The point is, is this. Seek those who are ahead of you and higher and better than you. Seek them out. When you do that, when you do that, you humble yourself, which is, which is great. People don't like a cocky person unless he or she is a pro athlete, and then it's really fun. In, in society, we don't like a cocky person. We like a confident person, but you can be humble and confident at the same time. That's a fact. But humble yourself to someone who's already gotten to where you want to go and then tether yourself to them and watch what happens. But again, you have to find mechanisms to do that. So for me, it's BNI, Business Networking International. It's the Lions Group. I, I need to probably join the Chamber of Commerce. They do, you know, that, that it's all uh, affluent, prolific people that are in that group that meet, I don't know, weekly or monthly, whatever. And there's probably millions of dollars represented in that room that if I just join up and prove that I'm someone who's trustworthy and will do the best I can, I'm connecting myself to those millions of dollars. And, and it's easy, guys. It's not hard. It, it's, it's so easy to sync up with those who are better than you. All you have to do is get on the phone, find a group, join it, do what you say you're going to do. Don't lie. Don't be lazy. Show up early. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Boom, you're, you're off to the races. It's really not hard. And I wanted to encourage you guys with that today because the, the truth is if a dumb shit like me can sync up with powerhouses, again, these names don't, maybe, don't mean a lot to you, but if a dumb shit like me can sync up with you know, powerhouses like Karen Pitkin and Gene Shaw and you know, other individuals, if, if I can do it just by being nice and doing what I say I'm gonna do to the best of my ability, it's showing up early, if I can do it, you can do it. Trust me when I say that. If I can do it, you can do it. And seek that out. Seek out those people who are further down the road than you and join groups like a BNI, Alliance Club, uh, Chamber of Commerce, whatever the case may be. Join something like that because in doing so, you, you magnify yourself exponentially at a rate of speed that would have taken you probably months or years to do before you tethered yourself to those individuals or that individual who's already established, okay? So I wanted to encourage you guys that today. Again, I apologize for not getting this video out yesterday. I got to buckle down. It's terrible. I'm going to step up. Let's go.